Hello students and viewers, I take this moment as the prestigious one to present this video session as a present to you all. This is K. Vengadesan from Department of Physics, Bharadasa Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakonam. Now I am going to introduce new topic, 9th standard physics, second unit, motion in one dimension, motion in one dimension, ok. The first I am going to introduce speed. The speed is nothing but the rate of change of motion is called speed rate of change of motion is called speed. In other words, we are calling the magnitude of velocity, in other words, we are calling speed, ok. The speed is your vector quantity or scalar quantity now, here scalar quantity, ok. See listen here, the rate of change of motion is called speed, the speed is nothing but displacement by time taken, displacement by time taken. So, unit of speed is meter per second, see listen here, um, see for example, speed. The distance by time now, your speed equal to distance we are writing, yes, representative yes, time t, ok. The SI unit of speed is meter per second. How to measure speed? We are using meter scale or centimeter scale, anything no. So, displacement is unit of displacement meter per second, meter per second. In other words, we are writing R meter second power minus 1, ok. This is the SI unit of speed. Sir, what is the unit of CGS system sir? The speed, no, CGS system is nothing but here meter no, change it, centimeter per second or centimeter second inverse, this is the CGS system, ok. The unit of speed is CGS system centimeter second inverse. The next one is uniform speed. The uniform speed is nothing but a body covers equal distance and equal interval of time. See here, example, a body covers any one object, ok, any one body covers equal distance and equal interval of time, this is called a uniform speed, ok. See, for example, rotating fan, rocket moving in space, this is a good example for uniform speed. This is a very important two more question. The uniform speed is nothing but if a body covers equal distance under equal interval of time. The next thing, variable speed. Let us consider an object or body covers unequal distance and equal interval of time. This is called variable speed. The example, a train starting from a station. This is a good example for variable speed, ok. So, next thing. Instantaneous speed, instantaneous speed is nothing but let us consider any one, any one object, car or bike, any one object moves in certain kilometer, certain velocity or certain speed, ok. Now, we need particular instant of time to measure the speed at a particular instant of time, that time in the speed we are calling, that time we are calling the speed instantaneous speed. See, listen here, if this, if the let us consider one body continuously changing with the time, speed changes continuously changing with the speed, uh, time. At any particular instant of time, we need that object speed now, that time how to measure? That is one instrument we are using, one instrument that is called a speedometer. That speedometer instrument we are measuring instantaneous speed. At the particular instant of time, we need speed now that time measuring instrument that is called a speedometer. So, this is the instantaneous speed. So, listen here, define instantaneous speed is nothing but if a body or speed of body is continuously changing with the time, then the speed at some particular instant during the motion is called instantaneous speed. Example, speedometer. Example, speedometer. The next heading, velocity is a basic concept. Velocity is nothing but the rate of change of displacement we are calling velocity. So, in other words, we are calling B by T, sorry, the displacement by time taken, displacement by time taken or S by T. So, that is called a velocity. See, listen here. The rate of change of displacement we are calling velocity. So, velocity is a vector quantity. Vector quantity is nothing but the, the any quantity possess magnitude as well as direction. So, this is the vector quantity, ok. See, for example, vector quantity equation velocity V equal to displacement by time taken, displacement by time taken d by t, ok. The SI unit of velocity is meter per second no, see listen here, how
how to measure the distance? We are measuring distance only meter scale. So, this is meter divided by time seconds or, or meter second power minus 1. This is the SI unit of velocity. In CGS system, uh, unit of velocity is here meter per second now. You want to change meter means centimeter per second. Centimeter per second, this is the unit of velocity in CGS system. So, okay, next heading uniform velocity and variable velocity. First one is uniform velocity when a body covers equal distance and equal interval of time. Already in this concept we know that speed, okay. So, same concept only uniform velocity when a body covers equal distance and equal interval of time, this is called uniform velocity. The next one is um, that is variable velocity when a body covers unequal distance and equal interval of time. So, this is the another one concept, this is a variable velocity. See next topic acceleration. Acceleration is something but the rate of change of velocity we are calling acceleration. In other words, we are calling acceleration A equal to V by T. V is nothing but velocity, T is nothing but time taken. Velocity with respect to time, the rate of change of velocity we are calling acceleration. See the SI unit of acceleration is velocity divided by time taken, no. See listen here. Velocity or acceleration, no, acceleration. Acceleration reference letters A, A equal to dv by dt. That means rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Okay. So, in other words, we are calling velocity acceleration equal to velocity by time taken. Okay. Velocity by time taken. Already we know that the general expression for velocity is nothing but displacement by time taken. Velocity is nothing but displacement by time taken. So, already we know SI unit of velocity is uh, velocity meter second power minus 1 no, divided by here 1 time. So, seconds. So, simplify we will get the answer meter second power minus 2 this is the SI unit of acceleration. SI unit of acceleration is nothing but meter per second square. In other words we are calling meter second power minus 2 ok. This is the general expression for acceleration. Acceleration nothing but general expression acceleration A equal to velocity by time taken. Velocity by time taken. So, this is called a acceleration ok. In CGS system the unit of acceleration in CGS system is here meter no centimeter second power minus 2 centimeter second power minus 2 in CGS system ok unit of acceleration. The next topic positive acceleration positive acceleration nothing but if a velocity of a body increasing with the respect to time velocity of the body increasing with respect to time. So, this is called a positive acceleration. So, velocity gradually increases with respect to time. So, in this velocity we are calling positive acceleration. Okay, see next one is negative acceleration. Negative acceleration is nothing but the velocity of the body decreases with respect to time. Okay. So, in this velocity we are calling negative velocity in other words we are calling retardation. In other words we are calling retardation okay. or negative acceleration. Retardation is nothing but negative acceleration. So, negative acceleration nothing but this is the velocity of the body decreasing with respect to time. See velocity of the body gradually moves very fast then slow okay. moving to slow body. So, this good example negative acceleration the negative acceleration in other words we are calling retardation retardation ok thank you. The next one is uniform acceleration. See listen here when a body describe equal changes in velocity and equal interval of time. See velocity is nothing but the magnitude of velocity is nothing but speed no. So, gradually speed increases with respect to time. So, this is called uniform acceleration. See sir 2 seconds sir here 2 kilometer, 4 seconds sir here 4 kilometer, 6 seconds sir here 6 kilometer ok. So, see here when a body describe equal changes in velocity or speed equal changes with respect to time taken. So, this is called a uniform acceleration because rate of change of velocity we are calling acceleration dv by dt ok. So, next topic acceleration due to gravity is a very important acceleration due to gravity. 
the acceleration due to gravity is nothing but the acceleration of a freely falling body under the action of gravity of earth in our earth ok see this one object freely falling due to under the action of gravity. So, this is called acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity next heading the acceleration of a body freely falling body under the action of gravity of earth no? this is the one object. In this object freely falling under the action of gravity ok this is the acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration due to gravity definition freely falling body under the action of gravity of earth this is called acceleration due to gravity ok. Already we know that this general expression g equal to capital G m by r square this is the expression for acceleration due to gravity see listen here the acceleration due to gravity is nothing but small g represented as g equal to capital G capital M divided by r square ok this is the general expression for to find the acceleration due to gravity g equal to g m by r square here g is nothing but acceleration due to gravity and the capital G is nothing but gravitational constant and the capital M nothing but mass of our earth ok and the r is nothing but radius of the earth. So, substituting this value we will get the answer g equal to say what is the value g equal to 9.8 meter per second square meter per second square we will get the answer g value 9.8 meter per second square this is the acceleration due to gravity see listen here. So, next heading the magnitude of acceleration due to gravity already we know that g value small g value capital gm by r square no. So, substituting this value we will get the answer what is value we will get the answer 9.8 meter per second square the as average value of acceleration due to gravity g equal to 9.8 meter per second square the average value of 9.8 no meter per second square. So, in this value positive value means see in this value positive only you know this is the positive 9.8 positive value when a body falls towards the earth towards the earth at that time only we will take positive 9.8. When we take 9 negative 9.8 see the value of g minus 9.8 meter per second square if a body raises vertically upward direction upward direction means nothing but it can be goes to sudden height ok. So, that time acceleration due to gravity gradually decreases that time we are using minus 9.8 meter per second square this is the negative value. So, the value of g is minus 9.8 meter per second square if the body raises vertically ok. Dear students I hope you all would have enjoyed this class and I believe that it will satisfy your thirst of knowledge. Thank you.